Blue Pine Energy. They've just announced securing a 239 crore rupee financial assistance from Tata Capital. Let's connect with Sanjeev Bhatia, who is the CFO of the company, to understand more about this latest fundraise. Good to have you on board, Mr. Bhatia. Tell us how you will be utilizing these funds. Yeah. So first of all, thanks for having me on your channel. And uh, this uh, 20, uh, 239 crores, which we have raised from consortium of Tata, Tata uh, and other lenders. So our plan is to construct 75 megawatts of uh, solar project, which is in the category of CNI division and uh, going to support CNI customers to kind of uh, uh, create a clean energy for the private customers because of late what's happening is that uh, we are getting lots of traction from CNI customers uh, and uh, they are witnessing and we are witnessing the private entities and corporates to prioritize their green initiatives, sustainable practices and adherence to ESG policies. So in that uh, regard, we are actually constructing a project in Chhattisgarh state uh, for 75 megawatts. So what is the capacity then of the plants for the energy generation annually? This plant once constructed will approximately generate 117 million units of energy annually. And uh, this project is going to estimate uh, offset approximately 107,000 tons of CO2 emissions yearly, which is significantly contribute towards environmental conservation. Now, the company was established in India by Actis, which is a global in, uh, investor, world leader in funding and building sustainable infrastructure companies. Give us a better idea as to what exactly you do. Yeah. So talking about Bupan Energy, we are a renewable company focusing on solar, wind, hybrid platforms. Uh, and we have a commitment of $800 million from Actis and supporting the country's vision of reducing carbon footprint and achieving overall net zero target. Overall, company is looking to create a portfolio of approximately 4 gigawatt in the next few years. And out of which, for last two years, we have already kind of achieved 2,700 megawatts of capacity, which is in various stages of construction uh in the in the area of solar wind hybrid fdre and we have approximately 800 million megawatts of uh, operating portfolio and uh, we as we speak and we are continuing to grow bigger times to come solar projects we are actually approximately 1100 megawatts of uh, uh, in capacity which is in various stages of construction 300 megawatts of wind projects which are also we are constructing in the state of gujarat and CNI, what we are actually talking about, we have approximately 500 megawatts across Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, and Chhattisgarh to name few states. And we plan to scale up up to 750 megawatts to 1000 megawatts. And what about your overall financials? Can you tell us about the targeted numbers in the coming years? So here we are kind of talking about, as we speak, we are eight 800 megawatts worth of uh, commission portfolio, and uh, which we have actually uh, taken from uh, Brownfield uh, uh, area. Again, we have acquired two different uh, uh, companies' uh, assets. And the first project, which we completed now recently in Gujarat. So overall, I would say by year end, we'll be kind of touching around one gigawatt of commission uh, capacity. And uh, gradually, overall, the target is to achieve four gigawatts worth of uh, capacity target is that the revenue should grow in that fashion only a gigawatt from this year and then multifold uh, kind of expansion till four gigawatt and before we let you go can you leave us with your long-term growth plan what are the milestones and the guidance and targets so the plan is uh, as i mentioned that we are here to kind of uh, achieve the net uh, zero target in that direction we are planning to construct a renewable uh, platform of four gigawatt in next three to four years time frame if you like this video then like share and subscribe to 18 now